Young people, how are you? How are you? How are you? Good day of teaching yesterday uh, through the videos. Know the problems from the yesterday's video. Always know that every single day how to do every problem. They're on the videos. All you need to do is write them at least that to know them. If I'm making a video, it can be tested. So make no mistake, okay? 1.71, the distribution property we're studying today. Okay, so let's get to it. Distribution property, distribution property. Okay. It says simplify the expression y plus 2. y plus 2. I'm writing it on the board. y plus 2 in parentheses 2. y plus 2 in parentheses 2. When you see two things together and they're in parentheses, this is a group and this is a group. Even though it's just one, it is in parentheses, so it, you can call it a group. What you do when this is right next to this, in parentheses, you multiply these. This is multiplication. You would not add, subtract, or divide unless it said so. But since they're together and there's no sign, it's multiplication. The first thing you do, draw the arrows representing that you're going to multiply this two by that two, and then you're going to multiply this two by this y. Might I say you cannot add anything in this parentheses. A y cannot be added to a two. A variable cannot be added to a number ever. So this, you have to leave it alone and just multiply the two by each one of them individually, individually. 2 times y is 2y. Two, 2y. Two, 2 times y is 2y. Two, 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? Make sure you get that. There's actually three people in this class who will not ask me a question, I notice. You need to ask questions. I'm going to start asking you questions. And you're going to have to share your screen. And those who will not share their screen or uh, ask me questions, you already been with me six to seven weeks. I'm going to start making phone calls just saying you won't even ask me a question. How can you expect to pass this course if you don't ask a question? You have to ask questions. You're in this course to ask questions, to learn. And then to go on. Thank you very much. 2y plus 4. Okay. All right, 2y plus 4. Okay, next one is to simplify the expression 3, 1, in parentheses, 1 plus 3. W. You notice how I said in parentheses, that, that does make a difference, all right? Now there's no parentheses around the 3. There's no parentheses around the three, but we know we take the three and we do, we're going to distribute. This is the distribution property. We distribute the three to the one and we distribute the three to the three W. When we distribute, it's always, always means multiplication, multiplication. Three times one is three and three times 3w is 9w, 9w, okay, and here's your answer, 3 plus 9w, distribution, always write the arrows, you cannot add these up anymore, ever, because one is a, has variables, a variable, and the other is a number, now we're coming to the hardest one, it's called factor. I'm going to even write the word factor out. Factor is huge. It is, the one we're going to be doing is 36D plus 
20. 36D plus 20. Write it as a product. This is a product. We wrote it. Find the whole number greater than 1 that is a common factor of all the numbers in the expression. 36 and 20. If there are more than one common factor, it is good practice to choose the largest one. Let's see what all the factors of this are. Of a 36 and 20, let's do the factor of 36 and the factor of 20. Okay, 1 goes into 36 and 1 goes into 20. You could factor out a 1, but we don't want to do that. We want to always make it bigger than a 1. We can factor out a 2. 2 goes into both of them. I could see a 4 goes into the 36, 4 goes into the 20. I'm just getting factors, just factors. I could say a 6, a 5 goes into the 20, but a 5 does not go into the 36, but a 6 does, okay? And then also a 9 goes into the 36, and a 10 goes into the 20. I can also say an 18 goes into the 36, 18, because 18 times 2 is 36, and also a t uh, just a 20. 20 goes into 20, and 36 goes into 36. Let's see the factors. The first time you write all this out, 1 goes into a 36, 2 does, 4 does, 9 does, 18 does, and 36. And then 20, 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. What is the common factor? The common that are in both is the 4. Is the 4, I do circle it. Okay, I'm just writing this out because this is the first time. Usually you're just going to do it in your head. And you'll be fine in doing it. Okay, so take out the 4. Take out the 4. And I put the four, how do I take it out? I just put it in front and then I put parentheses as if it was a product. How many times does four go into 36? How many times does four go into 36? It is nine times. Nine D. Nine D. Four times nine D is 36 D. Bring the plus, always keep the sign, the plus. And how many times does 4 go into 20? 4 go into 20 it is. Or you could say 20 divided by 4, which is 5. Which is 5. Ta-da! And that's our factor. 4 times 9D is 3060, and 4 times 5 is 20. This is the answer, actually, and I will put a box around it. Okay. Looks like a long process, but you know what? It takes practice, practice, practice to get it perfect, okay? All right, let's go on. Good job, by the way. Good job. Thank you for your patience. Thank you that you are astute. And thank you you're willing to live in this, uh, this academic environment every day. That's awesome. This one is simplify the expression to... And then the product, uh, 2 times the product of 2 plus 3x. 2 times the product of 2 plus 3x. What do you do? You distribute the distribution property. It is multiplying the 2 times the 2 and the 2 times the 3. Don't forget, there's no addition or subtraction or division. So since there's no sign, it's always multiplication. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times 2 is 4. And 2 times 3x is 6x. Okay? And you cannot add these. This is as far as you get. Okay? Let me hold that up there longer while I switch the pages on and do some more problems okay the next one is a factoring problem a factoring problem 
factor 45W plus 40. 45W plus 40. Now, I'm not going to write everything out, okay? Because I did it hundreds of problems like this. So, what is the biggest number that goes into a 45 and a 40? Now, in the past, I did write it out at one time when I was your age. But I know it's a 5. I know it's a 5. Can a 6 go in these? No. A 9 does go in there, but a 9 doesn't go in there. An 8 goes in here, and it does go in there. So, I'm going to take the 5 out. I'm factoring the 5 out. I'm factoring the 5 out. What is 45 divided by 5? It is 9. Don't forget the W. And 40 divided by 5 is 8. 8. Okay? That's factoring. That's it. That's it. This is the entire factoring. Of course, I always put a little box around it. So you're used to that. And that's the answer. Okay? All right. The next one is simplify the expression. Simplify the expression. 7 product for D plus 1. Okay. So distribution again. 7 times 4 D plus 1. Factor it out. Write your arrows. Write it on paper. Don't just try to look at it and do it in your head. Some do, but that's 20%. If you have to write it on paper, there's no shame in it. There's there's no shame in asking someone else uh, when you're in the midst of IXL. Okay. 7 times 4 is 28. Don't forget the D. Plus 7 times 1 is 7. 28D plus 7. 28D plus 7. Okay. 28D plus 7. The next one is factor out 36z plus 9. 36z plus 9. What goes into both these? Actually, a 9 does. A 9 does. Goes into 36 four times. Goes into 9 once. Of course, I did hundreds of these, so I saw it. You might have to write it out, the factors. 1, 2, 3, 6. So, well, 6 doesn't go in both of them, but 6 goes in 36. Okay. So, um, Getting, taking a 9, 9 is the highest, and 9 goes into 36. 36 divided by 9 is 4. So that's 4z plus 1. 4z plus 1. 9 out there, and the parentheses 4z plus 1. Excellent. You're doing fantastic. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. The next one is simplify 5, 3, H plus 1. 3H plus 1. Okay, 3H plus 1. I distribute. And it's 15H plus 5. 15H plus 5. Don't ever be intimidated that I'm doing this fast. Don't ever be. Ever. Okay? i just been doing a little longer. Just been doing more. So I was in your, 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 your shoes at one time uh, looking at this board wondering, wait, what? It's just 15 H plus 5, okay? You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Let's factor out two more and then we'll be done. It's 20 V minus 30. W, 20V minus 30W. What goes into both these is a 10. You can't factor out the V because this doesn't have a V. You can't factor out the W because this doesn't have a W. I could factor out a 10. 10 in parentheses is 10V minus, no, excuse me, 2V. 10 times 2V. Yeah. And 30W divided by 10 is 3W. And here's the answer. 10, and in parentheses, 2V minus 3W. Isn't 10 times 2V 20V? 
and 10 times 3W, 30W. You're awesome. You're awesome. All right, this is an honors problem right here. It's factor out from this one. This is a 90 and above problem. 20x minus 16y plus 12. 20x minus 16y plus 12. There's three. It looks more intimidating, but it's not. What goes into a 20, a 6, and a 12? While I'm looking, I'm doing it in my head. I would normally write it if I was in your shoes. Um, I'm going to factor out a 4, 4, 4, 6. Can I say a 6? Nope, 6 doesn't go to 20. It's a 4. I factor out a 4. 20 divided by 4 is 5. Don't forget the x. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Don't forget the y. And 12 divided by Four is three. And here's your answer. Here's your answer for an honors problem. You factored out to four, five X minus four Y plus three. You're awesome. You're awesome. You're awesome. Do Wednesday, the 20th at 8 p.m. Have a great time. I'll see you in class. You're awesome. And God bless.